that might have been more extensive than extended. Got a lot of apologies to make. I'm so sorry I put you in harm's way. You gotta find out who did this. You'll never see me coming. How many in the air, Jarvis? Thirteen, sir. How many can I carry? Four. Oh, boy. I chose to show this extended look at Iron Man 3 instead of the straight, short Super Bowl spot that they aired on Sunday because I thought it was really underwhelming during the game. Uh, I, I thought, I mean, it was great to see new footage. I mean, I was really disappointed that World War Z just aired kind of like a, a remix, with, except for also one plane scene where people are being cut, uh, falling out of a plane, interesting, uh, in both films. But So I was disappointed that World War Z kind of didn't give us anything new. So I was happy to see new material coming out of Iron Man 3 from the Super Bowl, but I feel like I don't, li I don't like what they chose so much. Uh, this extended look, I love Robert Downey Jr.'s joke at the beginning. He's great. He just continues to be the secret weapon of the Iron Man films, and I believe to a large degree holding up the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. So he's he's earning the huge amounts of money they're paying him, uh, but not just up front. He's, he's truly earning it because he has back-end deals on the films. But this extended look, you know, I still feel... I feel like Shane Black isn't... I'm not seeing the Shane Black stamp on the material. One of the reasons I was excited for him to come on board and take over from Jon Favreau is that I feel he works so perfectly with Robert Downey Jr. If you haven't seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, go see it, go rent it, it's fantastic. And I really feel they should be showcasing that kind of Shane Black dialogue in the trailers. Because that's why people... I mean, I, I don't know. We're divided on this. I know a lot of you prefer Iron Man 1 to Iron Man 2. I'm an Iron Man 2 fan, so there's a mix of what we're looking for to get to get out of here. So I don't know, maybe maybe Marvel Studios said a lot of people didn't like Iron Man 2, Shane Black, so I want you to look at Iron Man 1 and make something closer to that. So we'll see. Uh, I would have also liked to see more Mandarin, uh, especially because Robert Downey Jr. has been saying such nice stuff stuff about him, and he's doing some exclusive interviews over at Entertainment Weekly, and he's saying, Ben Kingsley's gonna steal the show. I, I don't know, I'd be surprised if anyone could steal anything from Robert Downey Jr., but He's saying that Ben Kingsley will. But you know, the special effects looked fantastic on this. It's a nice tie-in with the poster they debuted of Iron Man falling out of the sky. So I feel this is really kind of like, with except for Robert Downey Jr.'s funny bit at the beginning, I feel this is really kind of like a non-entity as far as publicizing the film. Uh, wasted money? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it gets the it keeps the conversation going, but I feel that Disney could have run a better spot here. Uh, what do you think? Are you happy with the spot? If not, what would you have liked to have seen? What do you? What do you? What what elements are you looking for for Iron Man three that that will cue you into it being a good film that that you're looking forward to? Uh, write your thoughts down below. Check out my other reviews of the other Super Bowl trailers. And as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer for the latest trailers and these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.